And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zed Quinn. That's right, we're going to be playing another Demacia deck. We're going to be playing Bannerman, splashing for Zed, um, you know, because Zed is just, just an awesome card. But really, the real reason why we're splashing for Ionia is this spicy one at the top end, Dawn and Dusk. This is another donation deck. We got all viewers submitted decks here today. This one is pretty sweet, where we're going to be trying to play Dawn and Dusk with these awesome Demacia cards. Like, even like Bannerman, Allegiance is a summon ability. And so if we have like a Bannerman in play, we can Dawn and Dusk the Bannerman, get two more Bannermans, get two Bannerman abilities with that Allegiance. That could be crazy. We could get a couple Grizzled Rangers. That's awesome, because then they'll they'll die and get us Badger Bears. Um, obviously getting a couple of Zeds or a couple of Quins, you know, getting our champions are amazing. But even like Genevieve Elmhart, right? Another summon ability, like Dawn and Dusk Genevieve Elmhart. Now suddenly all of your other allies get, you know, plus two, plus two, and your Genevieve's get plus one, plus one each. And then you have the, the scout attacks there. Um, so that could be really cool. Then, of course, with Scythria. Like, imagine if we have Scythria in play and Dawn and Dusk, and you just have three Scythrias, and then you attack all your things, get plus three, plus three, fearsome. <laughs> that could be crazy. So, yeah, that, that, this should be pretty sweet. That's, that's what we got. We got this spicy Dawn and Dusk at the top end. All right, let's go play some games over in Ranked. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see if we ever get to pull off a nice Dawn and Dusk combo. Hopefully we do. We're going to start against a slower deck with Aurelian Soul Lux. Uh, Radiant, I mean, Radiant Guardian isn't that great with Dawn and Dusk, right? Okay, we don't need the single combats. Um, I could keep the Dawn and Dusk for the late game, honestly, in this kind of matchup. For that power, or we could just try to curve out more. We'll just send them all back, try to curve out. We'll find some other top end stuff. I'll write my own story. Yeah, Rainy Guardian is just a good card. Raise your weapon, son it is, it is. We already do have Quinn in the five mana slots. Hey. So that gives him one less blocker for the Zed. And now that thing's dead, they don't get to like block with it and then play Remembrance, because this is probably a Remembrance deck. That's rough. I I could attack, they block my Zed. Okay, I was gonna say they they block the Zed and then and then I single combat the Living Shadow. Kind of good thing I didn't do that. Then I play Zed next, and they if they try to single combat Zed, I can respond with single combat with my protege. Still paint is just accidental art. Ooh, getting rid of Remembrance, and that just seems like a downgrade, isn't it? Oh, Quinn. Alright, do we go Zed plus Bright Steel Protector or do we go Quinn? I feel like we go Quinn, we have Valor attack first, kill like the 3 2, then they play Radiant Guardian, and then I'm stuck. Oh, Zed, Protector Zed. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. Letting them trade 3-3 three, three for 3-2 three, is just good for Remembrance for them. And also, keeping stuff is better for my Scythria. Okay. Still, they just traded Remembrance for that Moonsilver. Like, I feel like that's a good trade for me. We'll have this on six. We'll have Protege plus Bannerman on seven. Bask in her radiant blessing. Oh. 
don't know the name, Laurent. Maybe I'm supposed to be going Tracker and Quinn and having Bannerman after all of those. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Soldiers, to me! I'm waiting to see if they have like another single combat or concerted strike, something like that. That you know, I'm saving the single combat. Protege will st stay a 3-5. So took no damage from that 1-2. Want to draw Dawn and Dusk. Let the light guide you. That'd be the ideal card to draw. Demacian needs heroes. A beacon in battle. Dang. I don't like this meteor shower card. I'll defend these forests to the end. So five out of six for Lux. Certainly want to kill that before it levels up. Please don't have another thing. Yes, that's so, that was so risky on my part because they could have just had another thing. Okay, so now we are we're just gonna go right to attacks and have this thing will be six power. Um, need to have them heal first, of course, and then this thing could just go here. Um. Go there. I'll just go there. I don't expect them to have another spell, because if they would have had a spell, they should have just cast it in response to my fighting with Lux, because then they would have saved their Lux, because their Lux would have leveled up. Looks like GG's. No, Lux would have leveled if, if they would have played another spell. Because um, the other spell would have happened before the Lux, or before the single combat hit the Lux. And the the Lux was at 5 out of 6. So all they needed was even a 1 mana spell, any kind of spell. If they played that in front of the single combat, then that would it that would have leveled up Lux. Lux would have been a 5 6. It would not have died to the single combat, and that game would have changed dramatically. So it was, a, it was a big risk on my part, but it paid off. I like all these cards. I keep this. We got a one. We got a three. We got a two. New recruit reporting in. Perfect. I'll do my best. Yeah, so I'm thinking if they had something in front of the concerted strike, also because like they played the concerted strike, Flavor. then it's I played. Um, yeah, I guess I'm supposed to play Protege first. So now that thing dies to Avalanche. So if they played something else, if they had another card. Our strength is yours. Strength in grace, beauty in the play. Avarosans, stand together. So I'm gonna go Bearman. Oh. Nothing. 
nothing gets between me and my mark. Got the other, you know, still got the first attack in with for Quinn. <sighs> okay, uh, so you challenge this, um, then you attack, you attack. Run them through, just like hunting thresher geese. Yeah, so we're gonna challenge over there. Eat up, friend. Pump this up so our protege doesn't die. Maybe I should have blocked the hearth guard with my 2-2 two -two Cythria. Of course, I was kind of focused on going Bannerman. So if it's single combat and kill their 5-2... So we're going to try to do that, then try to have Bannermen. Okay. That's something that doesn't kill something else. Of course, I was going to try to just go, then be able to go straight to combat. Um, you know, with all this stuff. We got Unspeakable Horror. That's a good one. Genevieve. I'll defend these forests to the end. We will defend them to the end. All right, GGs. This is what I'm guessing the opponent is saying. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess that is still game, isn't it? They're at 15. Well, maybe. These woods belong Let's see. to us. So we do this. And then, yeah. Feel the sizzle. Oh, nothing back. Aha. Yep. No one goes hungry. Bannerman plus Genevieve wins again. You would have never thought they withering whale. Hopefully, we do get to pull off the dawn and dusk combo one of these games and you know, get double Genevieve or something like that. Another one of these matchups. I don't know. I don't even know if Bright Steel Protector is that good to play on turn two. Kind of need like War Chefs. Send these cards back. Yeah. Keeping spell man, I suppose. Okay. New recruit reporting in. Basically the same thing as playing Bright Seal Protector. Basically. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. I hope they pass. Yeah. All right, end round. Not let them use their mana. Because I could attack here and then do four, and then they play the five mana ramp spell. Slow down, will you? And then it's like, okay, well, I just dealt one damage. Or, yeah, they would just play the Weirding Stones afterwards, and then they would have played Trundle. We'll start leveling up Quinn. These are trolls. Here we go. Let's 
Start leveling up Quinn. Um, with blocking, it's always it's always good to, to use your life total as a resource. Um, and yeah, so there's a lot of times like where I'm not blocking because I'm just gonna because I'd rather because I'd rather have my units be attacking. Um, I don't know. It's just something you kind of have to to see with like how the game's going and everything. It's not there's not like a, a hard fast rule of like block block at this point, don't block at this point, but um, you can be more aggressive. Like I block less against decks that don't have very much direct damage. As a general, as just like a general statement. Um, I guess we get eight damage in if I sacrifice the little birdie. Means I'm going to be more relying on this Grizzled Ranger for my next scout attack to try to level up Quinn. I'm not sure if that helped. I hope it did. As far as, like, uh, things that I'm doing there. I'm gonna let this happen. A little snow so it obviously makes sense to play the two, without a sound, the two three mana cards. But then that's worse for trying to level up Quinn, because that's me not playing Grizzled Ranger. So I'm kind of expecting another another avalanche from them, right? Like that would make sense. They have another avalanche, and so then our Rangers resolve. Yep, so we'll Rangers resolve now. Now what would definitely be bad is if they have Withering Whale. Who does not know the name that would definitely be bad if they have Withering Whale. But if they don't have Withering Whale, they're pretty dead. So I could go Genevieve first, and that, that saves me against Withering Whale, but that allows them to play something. If they have a third Avalanche, that would give me. Because otherwise, otherwise I'm just like attacking here and just like challenging this and you know doing all this damage. Um, I'll defend these forests to the end. All right, a little scared of, scared of Withering Whale. This is no that Ice Quake. Look out below! It's a tough call. Hold nothing back. Belong to us. Oh, that's a tough call. I'm sorry. Just because Withering Whale is a really popular card that the, these decks play, and I would have been really dead to Withering Whale. I wasn't very scared of Avalanche since they just played two Avalanches, right? So it's basically play around Withering Whale or Ice Quake. You know, like we can we we'll, we're playing into one of them, and uh, so I played into the Ice Quake. And they had the Ice Quake. Or I could have... If I would have just gone straight to attacks, so they play Withering Whale, I'm I'm pretty much dead also. Like, they would have just killed all my stuff and they would have had a, a full Trundle. At least this way we got rid of the Trundle, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Hey, QQ. The trolls are going to war. Stop having more Trundles. That's their third Trundle? Come on. I would love to play this Dawn and Dusk, but I'm really scared of them having removal and response, of course. But I, I really want the Dawn and Dusk on the Grizzled Ranger. That's what I definitely really want. Break their spirits and their swords. Smashing! A disgrace. Third Trundle's rough. I'm just gonna I mean I'm just gonna be going for it. We're not gonna be winning a long game and they're they're already basically stabilized. 
This game's pretty much over. Anyway. Surprised not seeing Trundle block with the regeneration and blocking with the Weirding Stones instead. But Weirding Stones also just isn't valuable at all with it already being round 10. So it doesn't do anything. Nice to see what would have happened if I would have gone right to attacks. Ugh. Triple Trundle. Ramp into Trundle. It's difficult to beat. Man, it's just all of these decks. This is all. It's just all these big mana decks. That's all. That's all there is. Um, Conservative Strike's going to be too important against these large things, you know, with your Radiant Guardians and Lux and that kind of stuff. A Demacia deck like this, we'd rather be facing, like, an aggro deck, like a Scouts or something like that, with us having, like, our protégés. So Remembrance is going to be the card this turn, playing Protégé, and then the Remembrance gives me really bad attacks, so we're going to go to attacks first. Who does not know the name oh, I guess I could not play that, could I? Because I need, I don't have five mana now for Concerted Strike. Yeah, I, I can do that. Shelter hand. Got your back. You call this a fight? Hardly fair. So the good news is now it's possible to kill the Screeching Dragon, and the Screeching Dragon doesn't have a good challenge on anything. The bad news is now whenever a Screeching Dragon, Grizzled Ranger, whenever these things die, they're, they will be playing Radiant Guardian, and then I have to deal with Radiant Guardian. Not liking our chances here with you know like the pale cascade grizzled ranger deck like that's just they're just getting so much value out of these cards Hold nothing back. Run them through. Two single combats if we need them. All right, 
right, so we'll fight there. And... I can keep Genevieve at a 5-5 and just get rid of my Bright Steel Protector. Maybe that's better to just keep Genevieve at a 5-5 and just get rid of this Bright Steel Protector. Let's do that. Clear up room for the Quinn. Let the light guide you. Pledge yourself to the shadows. All right. Hope they. We can kill this Lux if they don't have a pump spell or a single combat, but that's kind of risky. I kind of want to. So I'm playing the Zed first. I would like them to go like single combat with the Lux. There we go. Okay. So now. Oh, stop. Alright, so we have this strike first, and then this strike, and that should kill the Lux. Going yep. To the, light. the first strike takes out the barrier, the second one kills the Lux. So now, while I do have 13, we go here, here, here. Puts him down to zero. Um, we'll do that. Zero is not very much life. Well, now they'll be at two. Two is a little bit more life than zero. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how you win games, is putting your opponent to zero, but not all the time, but usually. The most common way. Cool, so now our Genevieve Vampire will stay a 5 5. Uh. Hush. That's a big time hush. Killed my Zed. My Zed was going to survive. It saved him for life. And also it got two damage on my Genevieve Elmhart. That one hush did all of those things. I don't... I guess we just play Quinn. Attention! Ranger Knight present! So we got the better board now, but they got four cards... Their deck has some super, super scary stuff, like Aurelian Soul. Um, but we can go straight to combat. I'd rather roll. Okay. I, I just took that instinctively, and then I realized I don't know what my life total is, because my my microphone is sitting in front of, like, the life totals. I don't get to see the life... I can't see the life totals unless I look over to the screen or you know, look around him or something. But, you know, I just instinctively took that, and then it just flashed in my eyes. I was like, am I at 10? <laughs> like, what if I would have just died and, and uh, I needed to block? That would have been really sad. Okay, so, uh, obviously we're going to just challenge these two, and we'll challenge them with these, then we'll have all of these attack. Uh, I, I don't know what I should pump up with War Chefs. I guess it is the 3-2, because it's the smallest thing. Scouting ahead. Hold nothing back. Health wise, so we'll just challenge these over here and here so they have to block those. And hopefully, out of all those cards, we get to do six damage. Hopefully. Alright, we do. We're safe for now. Crundle and Aurelian Soul deck. What a surprise. That's something new. Again, Concerted Strike, good at picking off. Like, these, all these cards are good, but it, it's not, like, a good curve, right? Like, this Concerted Strike has a good use. Ranger's Resolve has, has a good use against Avalanche. This picks off Trundle. Um, Quinn can definitely go. So, like, I can see keeping these spells, because they, they each have a very good, unique use. 
but we need to get to... We need to curve out more. I think Concerted Strike is probably the more important thing to keep against Trundle than keep the card against Avalanche, I think. Well, now I want the card against Avalanche. <laughs> what happened to Zed? He's having all of these two health units. Alright, what's your story, Cytheria? You're gonna be right now. That's a big sword. She's just carrying around. She's just like, uh, don't mind me, got this big sword. A 4 3? What? A 2 mana 4 3? What? What am I supposed to do about a two mana four three? Follow. Man, two mana four three was just so perfect against my hand. It's not something you see very often, but. Man, that's perfect. Because even if this was just like the 1-3, then we could still, you know, play this and attack in and all that kind of stuff. Strike and grace, beauty in the play. Yeah, I'm just kind of stuck. Mm, footprints here. Two of them? This way. Now we go. That attack probably means no avalanche. That would be my guess. I'm going to play this other Cythria first. Try to bait out avalanche if they have it. Because obviously I don't want my Zed dying to avalanche. Alright, they didn't take any bait. Still hopefully no avalanche. Okay, we got some damage in. That is so great. <laughs> hush, why do you... Uh, so that Hush not only killed my Zed, but now also is, is a Celestial card. I really wish this card would just say just three mana, you know, silence a unit, burst speed kind of thing. I really wish it didn't silence a unit this round. I really wish it didn't say create a fleeting Hush in hand. So something with 5 plus power. So that's not Trundle. Obviously it could be Aurelian Soul. Could be some 8 mana card. We know they have one 8 mana card already with that Troll Scavenger. I'll defend these forests to the end. We will defend them to the end. Duh, Genevieve, you're not the only one. We all out here defending. You always make it about you. We're here defending just as much as you. All right, pretty stunned. So I mean, that's just the card that the the hush turned into. There you are. It's not too big a deal. I didn't even attack twice with the Quinn. Uh, I didn't let them, didn't give them a chance to play another blocker. One star's whoopsie is another spark. 
discarding Infinite Mind Splitter. That was the card that Babbling Beer grabbed, I think, or where it was, because, you know, the, like these cards, you can tell like where cards are because they don't rearrange at all. So yeah, yep, that was the card that, that, um, infant, that, yeah, that was the Infinite Mind Splitter there. So they played that and passed. Uh... I kind of guess I just pass as well. Yeah, not too much of a surprise there. This works. Nope, looks like they got a Pell Cascade. Or a Bastion. Oh, I need more spots for Dawn and Dusk. If I attack out, Biz with that resub. Thank you, Biz. Okay. Been having a lot of tests recently. Hope you're crushing them. Keep that studying going. And always glad to see you. Thank you for joining from Kuwait. So, of course, it's better for me to play, like, Zed or something first. Um. I'll just go this route. My duty's done. Get the attacks in immediately. I like seeing that. That card doesn't do that much. I mean, I guess it does get them to a really soul next turn. So that's good. Flavor and spice. Um, my favorite Tarek deck. Not sure. We've played so many different Tarek decks. Honestly, the Tarek Trundle that we played yesterday, I have liked, I, I feel like, you know, either that or the Braum. I like the Freljord Tarek decks with Starlet Seer. Um, I'd probably say the deck we played yesterday. down to two and Zed didn't die of course having open spaces is not really that bad with having dawn and dusk thing is do we get another attack step I love them having just more faces of the old ones that's amazing 
We know one of these cards they have with that they grab from the Babbling Bjerg is it something with eight five plus power. Discourage. Plus two plus two and overwhelm, so I'll be thirteen power overwhelm. Okay, just those attacks, that's fine. Can you stomach this? Let me have this. Oh, they'll all be stunned, aren't they? Oh, they'll all be stunned. Oh, I forgot about that part. Oh, they're all going to be stunned. This isn't going to work. Need to do bannermans. Well, at least we got to do dawn and dusk. I forgot about that, how they, they are stunned. My plan after doing these was to play Protégé and Bannerman. I guess I should have played Protégé first anyway. <sighs> but I wanted to keep the Conservative Strike available. Um... Well, that's my bad. I mean, I knew that, but I, I just forgot about that. Because I've done that before of, like, my opponent casting Dawn and Dusk, and then I stunned their thing in response so they would get stunned units. I just... I don't know, I just wasn't thinking, just forgot about that. Um, so I guess the, the play that I was supposed to do was play Protégé first, and then Bannerman, and then uh, Dawn and Dusk Bannerman. Then I guess I wouldn't I wouldn't have room for all of that, though. wouldn't be able to use those. I don't know, we were just in a lot of trouble. That Infinite Mind Splitter um, was awesome, and... and a big part of that game, honestly, was the swing of the Spacey Sketcher getting the Crescent Strike to right after I played the Quinn. You know, had the Sith or the uh, Genevieve and the Quinn, and they they just stunned um, my Valor and my Genevieve, which then gave them the turn to use Moon Silver and then play seven mana Infinite Mind Splitter. 
anyway, our deck was pretty cool. I, I wish I got to actually use Dawn and Dusk um, and actually get to use this positively, but I was not able to, unfortunately. That's kind of the point of that card. Um, but yeah, you know, like we're like I said, we're just playing like a you know a donation deck here with our Zed, our Quinn, Genevieve. Quinn's honestly just not as strong as Garen in these kind of decks. Um, I I do think the Garen's a better card than Quinn. That five five, um, but uh, you know we're trying Quinn in this version. But if you if you want to try this out and you want to upgrade it a little bit, I would recommend playing Garen over Quinn. Um, but anyway, there we go. That's Zed Quinn. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, you know, let me know if you try this out and if you get to do anything cool with Dawn and Dusk. I want to hear about it because we didn't get to do really anything cool with Dawn and Dusk. So let me know if you are able to, if you get to Genevieve and not have him stunned or Grizzled Ranger and not have it get vengeanced or, you know, like, like both of those that we had or anything else that you get to do. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Zed Quinn, and I'll see you for the next video.